Welcome to another tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to talk about click to sort. I'm going to show you how to make a click to sort column header in your Microsoft Access Continuous Forms. So you want to sort by that column, like first name or last name, you just click on the column header. Today's question comes from Bernie in St. John's, Newfoundland, one of my Platinum members. Bernie says, I know you can sort the records in a form by right-clicking on the field and selecting a sort option, but that's a pain. Is there an easier, faster way to say just click on the column header and sort by that column? My accounting software works this way, and I would love it if Access did too. Well, of course, Bernie, let me show you how to do it. But first, a couple of prerequisites. I always say if you learn just a tiny bit of VBA, you can make your databases a lot more powerful. This is one of those situations. So if you have not yet watched my intro to VBA video, go watch it. It's totally free. It's 20 minutes long. It teaches you everything you need to know to get started programming in VBA. Don't be scared of it. All you need is a little tiny bit of VBA knowledge. In fact, this will work with, I think, two lines of code but you have to know where to put those two lines of code, which is what I'm gonna show you in this video. But first, go watch Intro to VBA if you've never done any VBA programming before. And then after that, go watch my on-click video. We're gonna use something called the on-click event, which means when you click on something, like the column header, right, something else happens, and that's called the on-click event. So go watch that video too. That'll give you a little bit of background before we get started today. So go watch these two videos, and then come on back. I'll wait for you. Go, go do it. Okay, so here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database. You can go grab a copy off my website if you want. So you find a link down below in the description below the video, which is also where you'll find links to those videos that I just told you to go watch. But in here, we have a continuous form, my customer list. Now I can sort by any of these fields. Remember, in Access, we call them fields. In Excel, they're called columns. I mean, you can still call them columns here if you really want to. But if I want to sort, let's say, by last name, it's at least a two click process, right? You can click on this column and then right click and then pick sort A to Z, right? Or you can click on a field like first name and then hit the A to Z or Z to A up here, ascending, descending, right? And remember, ascending has nothing to do with the back of a donkey. Yes, I know, bad joke. And for those of you who watched my Access Beginner Level 1 class, my free four hour class, I, I recycled that joke for everyone who didn't. So, haha. Anyways. What Bernie is saying is, wouldn't it be nice, wouldn't it be easy if I could just click on this column header once and it just sorted that column? That'd be pretty fancy, huh? Well, we can do that by putting an on-click event in these labels that are back here, right? So let's go into design view. All right, now labels can have events in them as long as they're not bound to a field. If you look at a different form like this customer form here, these labels are actually bound to these text boxes. So if you come into design view and you click on one of these, like first name, see how it's bound to the first name field? There's no events there. All right, so you can't put events in a label that's bound to a text box. But if you have an independent freestanding label, like all of these are, they can have events. So if you open up their properties by double clicking, you'll see the event tab. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna give our labels names. I normally don't bother naming labels because I almost never refer to them, but if you wanna do something with or to that label, like change its color or have a, an event tied to it, then you wanna give it a good name. You don't just wanna call it label one. So go to the all tab over here, pick name, and make it, I like to make the, the name of the label the same as the name of the field that it's bound to. Well, or that it represents, that these aren't bound. But, so customer ID label, okay? This will be the first name label, first name label, and so on, see? All right, last name, last name label, and state, All right, state label, and we'll just chop these off, we're not going to do that. All right, I'll just teach you how to do it with these four, that's plenty, All right? Okay. I don't want you to have to sit here and watch me do the same thing for 10 different labels. All right, so save that, close it, open it back up again. Now, oop, wrong one. Now, nothing appears to have happened, right? I have just named the labels. Let's go ahead and put an on-click event in those labels. All right, right-click, design view. Now, before we do that, I want to teach you about a certain property. Click on the form properties right there where the two ruler bars meet right there. You'll have the form properties over here. If you go to data... There's a field right here called order by. Okay, now there's some stuff in there right now if you look. The order by, the default order by is customer t.first name, comma, customer t.last name. So the default sort for this form 
is first name comma last name. Okay. Then there's order by on load, which means do you want to load that order by that sorting? Do you want to load that when the form loads? Normally that's set to yes. So whatever you save that sort as will get loaded the next time you load the form. So what we're going to do is with our VB code, we're going to change this order by property. Okay. So let's go to the customer ID label. Go to event. Here's the on click event, right? There's on click, there's on double click. And don't worry about these. These are a little more specific, like when the mouse button goes down, when the mouse button goes up, when the mouse moves over the label. There's all kinds of events in here. There's tons more for text boxes, but labels have fewer. So we'll click on the customer ID label. And then over here, hit the dot, dot, dot button. That will open up your visual basic window. Okay, I'm in the customer ID label click. If you got the little pop-up message, saying what builder do you want? Pick the code builder. I explained that in the intro to VBA video that you should have watched. <laughs> okay, so right in here, customer ID label click. This is the code that runs when you click on the customer ID. Now we already have a customer ID double click event. I created this in the blank template video. If you wanna watch the video where I actually build this database, that's my blank template video. I'll put a link to that down below. You can watch that too. But in there, I make this event where we open up the customer form for the currently selected customer. But in the, just, if you just click it, okay, this is, this is the customer ID field, by the way, customer ID, this is customer ID label, all right? So different things, all right? So in here, this is where we're gonna set that order by property. All right, so I'm gonna say me dot order by. What is me? Me is the current object you're working with, object being form, report, that kind of thing. Me represents the form that you're on, okay? Um, normally you don't need me unless you're modifying a property of the form, like it's caption, it's order by, it's filter, that kind of thing. You don't need to reference me if you're just talking about the fields on the form. Like you don't have to say me.customer ID, okay? A lot of people do, you don't need to, all right? Me.order by, that's its order by property, equals what field? Customer. ID, that's the field we're on. Now, generally that will work just fine, but there's one other line of code that I'd like you to put in here just to be safe. It's me.orderbyon equals true. We're basically saying turn on the sorting. Okay, that, that setting can get turned off. And if you just change the order by field name without making sure that order by is on, then it might not do anything. This just ensures that sorting is on, okay? All right, let's do another one. Come back over here. Let's pick on the first name label. Go to on click. Now notice we're in the first name label click event. And I'm just gonna copy this code from up here, right? Copy, control C, and paste it down here and just change the name to first name. See, see how easy this is? It's not hard. It's not rocket surgery, it's not brain science, okay? Paste, last name, last name, and then state is the last name. Dot, 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 and then state. Okay, save it. I'm going to close my form and then reopen it. All right, you ready? Here we go. First name. All right, I think it's already pretty much, yeah, it's already sorted by first name. Uh -huh. Last name, boom, look at that. State, boom. ID, boom, there you go. And that is how you sort. That's a one-click sort for each one of those columns. That's kind of cool, huh? See, two lines of code is all you need. And really, one usually just does it, but two lines. That's most of what you need to learn when it comes to Access VBA. You don't have to become a, a super programmer, developer, hacker type guy. I'm telling you, just a couple lines of VBA code here and there can make your databases a whole lot more functional and a whole lot more powerful. If you want to learn more programming like this, I recommend my Access Developer Level 1 class. Again, I start you from the ground up teaching you all the basics of VBA, a little bit more detailed than the free one, but it's, it's about an hour long. We go into, you know, all the kinds of different simple commands that you need to learn to make Access powerful. If you want to learn more in the extended cut for the members, we will make it so that you can sort ascending or descending. So you click on the header. If it's currently sorted ascending, it'll sort descending, and it will change the color. So if it's ascending, it'll be blue. If it's descending, it'll be red. Here's the finished product, right?
ID, first name, last name, back to first name, click on first name again, and now it starts descending. See that? Ascending, descending, right? State, ascending, descending. Pretty cool, huh? That is covered in the extended cut for the members. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. There's like 250 of them now, so you join and you watch as much as you want. There's tons and tons of extended cut videos to watch. And gold members get access to download these databases that I build in the Tech Help videos. And you get my code vault with all kinds of cool, crazy VBA stuff in it for access. So check it out. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full-length courses found on my website, not just for access, too. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a Diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout-out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more, and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like level one, level two is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website, and you can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.